Hey guys, I'm Tiffany Smith with DC All Access and we are on the set of Arrow. We're gonna be talking with the stunt coordinators, costume designers, and of course, the entire cast because this is All Access on Arrow. I'm so excited. So I walked onto set like a five-year-old jumping up and down. We're in Queen Mansion. This is awesome. Yep. I felt pretty badass in my Batman leggings when I showed up here today. But yeah, you badass. show up in the black canary suit. I didn't have any choice. I didn't mean to outshine your leggings. <laughs> You're getting a little more action in this season. That's true. A little yeah. bit more badass. Yeah. Sort of. Dinkle kind of has this Yoda thing about him, right? I think he really kind of has this relationship with Oliver where he kind of protects him. What can fans look forward to with season three? Are we gonna get a massive big finale like we did at the end of season one? In season one, we were really laying the groundwork for season two, and I think that, you know, when you when you look back over the course of season two, as we start those early episodes of season three, you'll realize, oh, wait a minute, I see what they were doing. But as we move towards the end of the season, the stakes get raised so high. I mean, it's going to be huge, because um, we don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the mirror crew is just out of control, and I was walking down the stairs, and all these extras in, in like full deck out wardrobe, and I was just looking at them going like, Oh my God. <laughs> we're doing this. I was like, we're doing this. Like, like it's a comic book and yeah. you know, there, there are chapters and you know, this chapter will be ending, but a very new big chapter will be starting in, in, uh, in season three. You have some of the awesomest action sequences in this show. Is there any cool moves that you can teach me? Punch me like this. And then if I go here and then I go, boom, it elbow you in the face. Ready? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> was that better? <laughs> So I've been working out. Can we have a little push up off? Ready? Three, two, what? Uh. How many we at? Uh. A little tired now. A little tired. <laughs> so we have three quick questions for you about season one. Okay. Because I almost didn't recognize you with your shirt on for this interview. That's right. How many times did you appear shirtless in season one? 14? 79. I'm gonna go with. 19. Not enough, according to our female fans. 33. Well, take 10 away. 23. Yes. One per episode. Yeah. <laughs> How many arrows do you think that Arrow shot in season one? 572. Wow. 25. Six? Am I close? Way off. 107. 200. 150. 142. Close. Close, that was very Wait close. Wait a minute, now, now I want a little props. Close. I want a little props, okay. okay? Okay, the final one. Yes. Um, the salmon bar pull-ups. How many did he do in For season one? For the whole one? season? Mm -hmm. um, well, he did at least 87 in the pilot, though. No. On the pilot, when he first did that, like he went up and like literally every guy just like, I don't have enough testosterone <laughs> in my body. And every girl was just. One, <laughs> just one. 40. 16. <laughs> I'm gonna go with about 12. Nice Boom. work! One out of three! Out with a is bang! Bad. Is bad. The combined inventory of every scientist who ever worked at Star Labs. All housed right in here. I hereby christen this building the bomb. Nobody says that anymore. I say it. I define my own cool. I still can't believe Dr. Wells is shutting this place down. Star Labs blew a hole in Central City when we turned the particle accelerator on. It's not surprising that Starling City canceled the lease on this facility. We're not exactly the poster children for let us store our unregulated prototypes in your neighborhood. It was an accident, Caitlin. Yeah, we'll try telling that to the families of the people who died. Maybe you can figure out how to tell that to yourself. Look, Cisco, let's get this inventory done so we can go home. I thought we were the only ones here. Maybe it's one of the security guards. Oh, hey man, we should be wrapped up any minute now. Are you getting a bad vibe off this guy? So issue 31 of Green Arrow is coming out and it ends the Outsiders War. Can you talk to us a little bit about this issue? Yeah, it's pretty much the culmination of the conclusion of everything I've done since I took over the book. You know, I've kind of built this big mythology around Oliver Queen and the Arrow Clan and the various weapon clans. And there's a big shocking reveal in issue 28, I believe, that his father is alive and they're fighting together. So this is sort of the culmination of all that stuff, the final showdown between Komodo and Arrow and Robert Queen. And, 
Uh, they don't all make it out. But the next arc is going to be a lot of fun too because Diggle, the character from the television mm -hmm. series, starts to play a much bigger role in, in the comic. Is there something when you're watching a show that you're like, oh, this is a character that I'm really connecting to and that's why you bring them over to well, the Well, he was, book? yeah. He was a real breakout, I thought. His, David Ramsey, the actor, I thought, really, really steals a lot of scenes that he's in. He's really a strong presence. I'll pay you later, Jeff. Can you talk a little bit about collaborating and working with Andrea? More than any book I think I've ever done with another artist, it's a true collaboration. Uh, he'll take my ideas and expand them incredibly and then I have to look at what he's done and adjust, expand my ideas and that's pretty cool. And he has such a distinct style. Our book definitely stands out on the comic racks. It doesn't look like any other comic out there and I love that. Do you think that you collaborating had anything to do with wanting to have a character that could collaborate like a buddy? He's my diggle, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, or you're his diggle, I don't hey. know. Come on, let's not get silly. <laughs> I'm Ollie. So I'm here on the Arrow set with one of the stunt coordinators, James Bam Bam Bamford. It's a appropriate right. name. Yeah. For what you do. Uh, let's just do something simple. In this particular case, we have two opponents. So, bam, he almost hit me. Like that, good. <laughs> okay, so Simon's going to throw one here. Pam, he almost hit me too. So I pull him towards me slightly. Wham! Elbow him in the face. Okay. And then crank this wrist lock on, onto Ryan. Step in Okay. Here. First thing you do is you clock your opponents. So take a look over to your right, there's one guy. Okay. Take a look over to your left, there's the other guy. So lean back slightly, bam, there you go. Now he goes the other direction. He's gonna go that way. Up, <laughs> up, up. Oh, ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And now what? Now, take care of Simon, finish him off, boom. And then, what now do I do? you have him. You can do something simple and Back fist, Ryan. Three, two, one, action. Whoa, that was awesome. Ready and three, two, one, action. Yay, Tiffany. Here we go, action. Holy smokes, I am a superhero. Blair, I'm coming for you. I'm here with Arrow costume designer Maya. We're just Hi. taking a look at some of the designs that you have for the characters. Talk me through the process. Well, I start off by doing what I refer to as my little chicken scratches, and <laughs> then I turn it over to a brilliant illustrator who understands the style of Arrow and also understands my style. Bronze Tiger was one of those ones that was a bit tricky. We try and ground it in some mm -hmm. kind of reality, but I still want to stay true to the comic yep. book. So we added in the zippers, and they're like the tiger stripes, and for Black Canary, because she runs around wearing fishnets in the comic book. <laughs> we put the fishnets in her leather leggings. So we try and stay true to the fans. Mm -hmm. So yes. this stuff, as awesome as it looks, it has to be flexible and they have to be able to actually fight in it. Yes, so there's all panels that are built in so that, and you know, we can lace her in and out of this. We cut her out of it after every day. You cut her in and out of the corset. Yeah, she's tired and she wants to go <laughs> home, so it's easier just to cut her out and off she goes. Are there any characters that you've seen through the comics that you're like, oh my gosh, I really want to make a costume for that character? Batman. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> he could make a cameo on this show, you never know. You never know. Wouldn't that be great, though? <laughs> it would be kind of amazing. Yeah. Well, that's it for DC All Access. Subscribe right here for more Arrow and for more Gotham goodness from Batman's 75th celebration. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to click for your shot to win our San Diego Comic-Con prize pack because we've got two four-day passes to the convention, airfare vouchers, and hotel just for you. Yeah, and tweet me at Blair Herter if you want to come to my Arrow season finale viewing party at my house. Are you going to try to do the salmon bar pull-ups again this no, year, Blair? No, I'm not going to do Yeah, I've been practicing, you guys. Come on over. I'm like, this. I get stuck on the first one, but then I'm good.